I'm not sure you knew this, but there was a scarecrow that won an award for being outstanding in his field. All right, so uh, I guess keep them coming, don't I? Jokes for days. Uh, but anyway, in this video, what we're going to do is, uh, this, this video is a second installment of the solution uh, to uh, the example on page 5 of the section 7.3 note packet. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do in this video is find an equation of the conic section in terms of the rotated coordinates. Um, and then there will be a follow-up video where we're going to find the angle of rotation. We'll, we'll see uh, just how rotated it was um, out of standard position. Okay, so to do this part, um, what I want to do is note that one of the first things we did was uh, move the 9 over and then express the left-hand side as a quadratic form, namely x transpose ax equals 9. But basically what we do to find an equation uh, of the conic section in its rotated coordinates is we uh, do a little change of variables so that we can rewrite the left-hand side as y transpose d, where d is the diagonal matrix that we'd get uh, from p transpose ap, and then y, the right-hand side will still equal 9. What I want to do is flesh out each of these matrices. For example, y transpose, let's use y subscript notation, so y sub 1, y sub 2. The diagonal matrix D along the main diagonal entries are going to be the eigenvalues that correspond to um, column 1 and column 2 of our matrix P, respectively. Uh, so I'd like to go back up and revisit those columns. All right, I'm looking at the matrix P right here. <clears throat> the first column was a result of lambda equals 7. So our first entry along the main diagonal is going to be 7, whereas the second one is going to be 3. And of course, everything off the main diagonal should be 0. And now to the right of that will be a 2 by 1 column matrix for Y. We'll use subscript notation Y1 and Y2 again, and then we'll set this equal to 9. Next thing that we want to do is multiply these three matrices out. When you do so, you're going to get 7y1 squared plus 3y2 squared equals 9. There's only one more thing left to do here, and that's to divide everything by 9 so that we can see exactly what our conic section uh, is, um, you know, based on the rotated uh, coordinates. Um, all right, so with our first fraction, we're going to have 7y1 squared over 9. Our second one, we get a little redu reduction there. That's going to be y sub 2 squared over 3. And on the right-hand side, we have 1. Now, I, I aimed to uh, get the equation in this format uh, because these are the uh, typical forms of the equations for conic sections such as you know ellipses and hyperbolas. Uh, we can actually go a little bit further with the first fraction, write it as y1 squared over 9 sevenths. And then the rest will keep the same, y2 squared over 3, and then equals 1. Uh, it's not really a big deal that we do that, but, you know, in case we wanted to figure out, you know, some sort of length of the major axis and minor axis here of the conic section, you know, we, we would need to know, um, or we would need to have the left-hand side written in this way. Uh, but what's really important here uh, is that we have the equation of the conic section now in its rotated coordinates. So this will be another one of those answers that's requested. And I want to point out that the sign in between the two fractions is a plus sign. That'll give way to us identifying what kind of conic section this actually is. 
uh, which that's kind of another requested item of the problem, identify the conic section represented by the equation. Um, since there's a plus sign separating the two fractions, and in fact, everything on the left is positive, we're looking at an ellipse. So that would be our conic section, the type of conic section, and that would be the equation for it in its rotated coordinates. All right, and that's how we do that part of the problem. If you have any questions about this video, let me know. Otherwise, we got one more video for the solution, and we'll be done with it. Thank you.